Amelia, I came from the Java Jet video. Oh my god! Hi! Wow, we were just talking about the Java Jet video. And we are just about to get into the AK-15 video because so many people have been requesting me in YouTube to do this. That's the reason why we are here to look at Friend and Hera and the AK-15. Which I have no idea what is it all about. I only know AK-47. Why is it called 47 in the first place? So what the hell is an AK-15? Does it shoot 50 caliber round? <laughs> is it a 50 cal assault rifle? <laughs> no way, right? Right? There's just no way. So, let's watch this video and see what the AK-50 is all about. Alright? Um. Oh my god, yes way? Really? Yes way? No. No. What? Are you shitting me? You, you, you rapid fire 50 cows? What? No! A famous man once said... No! There is no real ending. It's just the place where you stop the story. What? Who said that? What does it even mean? Doesn't matter. What? I said it because he said it, so now he was famous, and it's basically getting said by two well-known guys. Oh. I don't... <sighs> Tell you what, let's just start from the beginning. Holy shit, how, how? How is his shoulder going to take it? But Brandon, how is your shoulder going to feel? If you didn't rapid fire that shit, you probably need a lot of alcohol. Had a gun like this. That'd be the most broken shit ever. We're gonna overpower a real gun. God damn. It's a 50 cal assault rifle. How how is my that name's even? My Brandon Herrera, and this is my gun, the AK-50. Huh? If you're new here, there's a few things you need to know. So let's go back to the beginning. In the beginning, the, In the universe beginning. was created. Yes. Mm, not that far. <laughs> There we go. That's okay. <laughs> so around eight years ago, I announced I was working on an insane task. To take an huh? AK-47, the most iconic combat rifle in the world, and scale it up to the insanely large 50 BMG. You what know, the, the caliber fuck? That was eight years in the making? He actually did it? Oh man, what if the military comes and be like, Hey, I want a piece of that tech. Blah. ...reserved for anti-aircraft guns, or the one Archer said could... Kill a building. So just scaling up an AK <laughs> yes. and fire 50 BMG sounds simple enough, right? Well, if you think <gasps> so, then you know as little about weapon design as I did when I decided to announce it. Why would you, you do that? I hadn't even dropped out of college yet, and while I had already started building AKs, I knew nothing about practical gunsmithing. So I enlisted the help of my local gunsmith, Chris Baker. And with the help of this redneck wizard, we got to work. Well, I think it was a gun in one of the Battlefield games, but I don't think it was the one he killed. was treated as normal AI. Are you sure about that, huh? Some of the parts we designed and had made by local companies, the rest... We made ourselves with blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. But mostly blood. Oh shit, that, that was some blood. by May 2017, we had enough of an AK-50 version 1 ready to fire its first test shot. Live round. Oh boy. Oh Three, boy. Two, one. Ah, Did it work? She's together. 
Full held, man. <laughs> it did work! So now step one was complete. The gun wouldn't explode on its first shot. Congratulations. Damn. But we're not building a single shot gun. We need to make it semi-automatic, so we need to make it cycle. How so the from there fuck? we added the gas system, the thing that makes AKs function. After we added gas, we were able uh -huh. to make it successfully extract and eject its first round. Three, two, one. It's Motherfucker! A massive win for something that people had said was impossible. Impossible? No, why would that be impossible? I mean, after all, you're just scaling up a 7.62 AK to the point where it would be able to fit 50 BMG. Oh my right? god, that's like a d Well, N no. Nothing. You see, that's where you run into two different issues. First one being, even though the size of the bullet is getting bigger and the size of the gun is getting bigger, uh -huh. the size of the person using it stays the same size. Exactly. So how? Meaning that if you just scaled it up one to one, uh, you'd end up with something that looked like this. Not something that's really usable to anybody. <laughs> Not like you could, because that's where your second problem comes in. It could be usable to an angel of death, aka a space mine. Ah! Because of something called square cube law. Square cube law is kind of an understanding of physics that things don't scale up or down on a one-to-one -one ratio. Wait, see the NCO Silvis rifle? Oh, damn! In fact, it's a lot more dramatic. For example, doubling the size of something doesn't just double everything else, like area and volume. Those might correspond by being four times or even eight times bigger. Without getting too yes. fucking Bill Nye on you, a simple explanation of that is why an ant's feet are allowed to be super tiny and an mm -hmm. elephant has to have four fucking tree trunks to be able to support its weight. Mm -hmm. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio. Then you have mm -hmm. issues with gas volume, with relative pressures. Look, all of this to say, not as easy as making this this much bigger. A lot of engineering, a lot of math to be done. But let's mm -hmm. get back to the AK-50 timeline. I know a lot of you may not be super interested in gunsmithing and weapons technology, weapons design kind of stuff. No, that's are, why I'm watching this. We love it. You know you can get your start at sdi.edu using the links in the description and the pinned comment. So to help with this engineering workload, we had a lot of help, including my Brass Valley internship yeah, program, Jake which Cox, among other things is shit. where I found my current head gunsmith, Zach, someone who would prove essential in completing the 50 project. So after redesign, after redesign, after redesign, mm -hmm. we settled on what would be the AK-50 V2, which would go away oh. from the heavy and expensive milled receiver in favor of an easier, cheaper, and lighter stamped receiver. And in May of 2021, we were ready to test to see if an AK-50 could actually fire and cycle consecutive rounds, oh, which boy. it motherfucking did. Cycle wow! Oh, this, this sounds like... In three! It sounds like they managed all this in like... Single attempts. That sounds pretty good, to be honest. But if the experiment is like works the first time, that is pretty Two, good. One. You know what they're doing? Oh, they I have to. I felt that trigger reset. Uh huh. I'm sending it again in three, two, one. Motherfucker. We made it to eight rounds in a row before it started slowing down and having hiccups. A death by a million pinpricks where a lot of tiny design flaws from pin yeah, sizes that to hand string, though. angles. But at the end of the day, we still prove the concept. This gun could work. Ah! So now that we knew the AK-50 was possible, it was time to make the gun we actually wanted to make. Not just making the skeleton of a gun fire, but making a complete gun. From the handguard, to the dust cover, an optic mount, to a few internal upgrades, it was time to make the gun that we had always wanted to make. A fully functional, fully assembled. Oh my god, that that <laughs> this this thing looks deadly, man. <laughs> this looks like a gun that could appear in Ghost Fun Line, and I wouldn't bet an Harley in thinking that it's some kind of like six star weapon with a go. But who was capable of making some of these parts? Well, we were lucky enough to be in the greatest country in the world, mm. Texas, huh? which means industry Te giants Texas? like Titans of CNC <laughs> were in our backyard. And after finally finding a dance partner who could make our parts exactly as we needed them, the road to a finished AK-50 was clearer than ever. Look at that go! Yeah, well, they made a treaty plan, so it's like time. understandable that they had to do that first and then bring it to a manufacturer to like make this parts happen. But it's looking out to be real solid. Of years from what we learned from the V2, and we needed to know if this new AK-50 would function as we thought it would. Oh boy. How's that work? Pretty decent. I'm not gonna hit anything there. Cool. Oh, is that concrete? What's the concrete for? Oh, to hold the gun in place. 
<laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. This feels different. Strain's going on, guys. AK-50 V3 test fire. Several years in the making. Good luck. First round. Three, two, one. Bump. Oh shit! That just fucking cycle. First fucking try. What the <laughs> shit? Did it work? So now that we knew the core of the AK-50 V3, it was, right? it was time to add the rest of the gun, which, as it turns out, led to its own problems. Huh? Ejection issues, dust cover not fully locking. There were a lot of minor details to overcome. But after months of uh... fine tuning, we were finally ready to test what we considered to be a completed gun. Let's go! Wow, it looks so, so used and weathered in a very cool way. Wow, how many rounds can this thing hold? Wow, it look, does look pretty kick ass. Shit. Oh, damn, that, that's so huge! That's what she said. All right, going hot. Fifteen and ten. It looks like it's All a whole right. twenty, though. No? AK fifty, V three completed, assembled, test fire. Here it comes. In three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Did it? Did it work? Oh yeah. All right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, I've been waiting eight fucking years to do wow. that. Wow. That's some rapid fire. Oh. I think that was the that was the fastest we've ever fired it to. So. Wow. Fuck. That is something. God, who's next? <laughs> you wanna give it a shot? I got five in it. Oh. 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 Yes. Wow. Nice. Oh. No, it's fucking wild. It's it's cool shooting it with it now fully together. Because now we've got this dust cover, the optic mount and everything. Oh. So we're shooting it with this uh the, the Trigicon 50 cal optic. Uh, the hand guard lets us, you know, actually how, put a bike. How did that should have feel? Because like it didn't seem to have much kickback. How is that possible? I am Fun. on it so it's stable we're not shooting it off of a <laughs> bunch of fucking sand oh. <laughs> yeah having to uh being able to actually aim it instead of looking down the barrel and making sure it's vaguely on the berm it's pretty but nice just kind of sending it yeah <laughs> the bipod we're actually using here is an atlas bipod but it's mounted using a qd picatinny mount from uh sylvan arms they're actually a great sponsor of the channel super nifty just quick detach so when we're doing it for transport and whatnot it's a, the it's a nice and gun and that's recoil also, thanks to that does make sense i guess for ammo for hooking us up with some of this 50 cal because uh testing ammo for 50 bmg is not cheap so we appreciate them as well but now we've loaded up a full magazine of 10 rounds because oh, for the 10. first time in the ak-50s history i think she's ready for mag dumps oh so mag this dump is, time. <laughs> like i said a long time coming i think on the oh. b2 we were able to get eight consecutive rounds before, before it gummed up. But now I, I think we're just gonna send it. I think she's good. I think she's ready. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Do you concur, doctor? Uh, let's see what she does. Let's go, baby. Time to find out. Time to fuck around and find out. All right, Magdom, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh! There she is. Oh! Oh! Wow! In the words of the great warrior poet Ryan Reynolds, I'm touching myself tonight. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Look at that face of a puma. Watching this thing run is just so sexy. You know, the only thing that would possibly yeah. make this better is some high speed footage. Maybe some ballistic high speed. You see, when we had the ballistic uh -huh. high speed guys in town ah, to record our gyro, gyro. motion video, 
We, we were just watching that for the previous video too. Wonder how this looks like high speed though. Ask for their help on one more project. Three, two, one. Oh. I always appreciated Booba Jiggle, but now I'm starting to appreciate a barrel jiggle too. Shit, that is some sweet ass jiggle. Just because I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Wait, he can lift that and shoot it? Huh? At hip fire? Without much kickback? How stable is this thing? Did you see that? <laughs> huh? It's just an animal that can has a lot of kick. Okay, okay. It's just that strong. Okay, okay, okay. It's just that good. Okay, okay, okay. You sure he made it look like nothing? He made it look like a shotgun would have more kick. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> really, the recoil is not bad. As heavy as it is, it should Yeah, the recoil is not bad, so it's not that bad, right? So a shotgun has more recoil, right? He's barely tanking it. Really, the it's... recoil is not bad. As heavy as it is, it shouldn't be. See it? He's barely tanking it. shoulder fire this big heavy bitch. <laughs> It's been a long time coming. Oh my god, that's <laughs> Magnum though. So impractical. But so fucking <laughs> hot. I got nothing, that was just fun. <laughs> Oh, hot down, man. Oh, Shit, yeah. that, that is kind of no, hot. No thumbs needed today. Sweet. Dude, that sounds beefy. <laughs> it is beefy. Oof. And it cycled just like that? Oh, yeah. Wow. You did it! <laughs> New favorite 50 cal, right? Feels really good. It's not too bad. The recoil is not bad either. No. Yeah. They made it look. I feel like a proud dad. <laughs> you should. I, don't, I feel like a not proud dad. None of my kids can do that. <laughs> a famous man once said, There's no real ending. It's just the place where you stop the story. Frank Herbert was the one who said that. He wrote uh, Dune, so put some fucking respect on his name. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, that's the story of the AK 50, or at least the story so far. We've come a long way from a future college dropout in a garage to millions of subscribers and whatever the fuck this turns into. So if I were to wrap this up all tied with a bow, whatever, I guess I'd say that the AK-50 was never a distraction or a hobby. Ah, it was a starting point. It sure now, is. Who knows where we'll go? All I know is that I wouldn't be here without you. Where we'll go in the future, I have no idea. But what I do know is that today we can set aside the age-old question. Where AK-50? Where AK-50? Damn, that was truly something. Wow, well done, well done. Best job I ever had. Man, I kind of want to see the, the jiggle physics once again. Oh, the jiggle, oh. Oh, because this jiggles so nicely, like Mooba jiggle, does make me want to put my face in there. But I know I should not be putting my face anywhere near that face. I have the impulse to do it. Oh, the jiggle physics! That gun, OP. Well done. Well done. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, goody. Hey, was oh. it one? <laughs> Why?